Hello witches, I am High Priestess or Symphonist. This is a very interesting question. Why don't witches feed the hungry and clothe the naked? First of all, witches are not obligated or required to do anything ever. Let me say that again. Witches are not obligated or required to do anything ever. How a witch chooses to use his or her powers is their personal choice. Clothing the naked, feeding the hungry. You would think that Christians do that. Christians are supposed to feed the hungry and clothe the naked, yet they do not. So why do witches have to pick up their slack? No, witches are not going to pick up anybody's slack. Now the reason why witches don't normally feed the hungry and clothe the naked is because not everybody is worthy of their help. I said this before and I wasn't trying to be arrogant or cocky or anything like that. Witches are a unique breed of people. Witches have real power. Witches are powerful. Witches are powerhouses. And they choose very wisely on who to help and who not to help. Witches will seek out people who genuinely need help. They really genuinely need help. Not help because they don't want to do for themselves or they are too lazy to do for themselves or they simply don't want to do for themselves. You can't put the slack, you can't put the burden on witches to feed the hungry and clothe the naked when it is Christians that should do that. And Christians do not feed the hungry or clothe the naked. They say they do, but they're lying to you. They do not. They do not. Witches in particular can choose who to help and who not to help. Not everybody is deserving of witches' help. Not everybody is deserving of being in a witch's presence. No, this does not make witches better than everybody else. It makes witches special. I said this before. It is witches that will save this earth. It is witches, not the people of the Abrahamic faith. Not them, witches. Witches decide who to help and who not to help. A witch can see you starving, not eating in 10 days, two months, and they can choose to let you starve. Even if that witch is the only person on the entire planet that can help you, they can let you starve because they are not obligated or required and they will not be punished by their chosen god, goddess, ancestor, familiar, or spirit animal for not feeding that person or clothing that person. They're not going to be punished because it's a personal choice and every witch has got to make a choice. You don't tell a witch what he or she is going to do or what they should do, or what is morally right, or what they are required to do, or obligated to do. A lot of people get it stuck in their heads that witches are love and light. That's a lie. That is a lie, it's not true. It's not true. Witches make the choice for themselves, and that witch is not going to go to sleep at night feeling bad for that hungry person or that naked person. They are absolved of any responsibility. I said this before, it is up to Christians to feed the needy and clothe the naked. You can't say, oh, it's up to all of us. It is not up to all of us. Witches don't think that way. Witches know that they always have a target on their back. So they, to protect themselves, they choose who to assist. They choose who to help with their powers. Not going around asking people, do you need help? 
you know, can I help you with something? They don't do that. They don't. They can. I know some very good witches who have fed the hungry and clothed the naked. And I, and I know some witches who do not feed the hungry or clothe the naked. And guess what? They are still a witch. They are still that powerhouse. Witches are powerhouses. Get that in your mind. Witches are powerhouses. They pick and choose who to help and who not to help. And they are still welcome in the witch community. Witches are not obligated or required ever to do anything. Ever, 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 ever. You might say, oh, it's not morally right. Oh, that's mean, that's unkind, that's evil. Let me tell you something. The witch makes the decision. Nobody decides anything for that witch. How a witch uses his or her powers is their own reasons. And those reasons ought to be respected. So this is the answer to this hot topic. Witches have all this power, but they won't help out the world. Witches are not obligated to use their powers for anything. Witches are not selfish. They are selective. It's a privilege to be helped by a witch. It's a privilege to speak, to be in the presence of a witch. It's a privilege that you have to earn. Oh, how can a naked person or a hungry person earn it? They can earn it. They can earn it. They can earn it. You have to honor the witch. You have to have something to give that witch. It does not have to be money, but they have to have the energy they are giving out returned to them because witches work with the energy found in nature to bring about real significant and permanently positive change through witchcraft. Everybody has something they can give the witch, anything, anything. But it's up to the witch to make the decision to feed the hungry or to clothe the naked.